These are alternate fingerings for arpeggios. You can go like this using your fourth finger and leaving your third open. This would be a C arpeggio. We've taken the C chord and inverted it and put the G on the bottom. The difference with this is that your pinky isn't able to play the root top note, whereas with the other fingering it can. With this one, it gives you an advantage here, which I'm going to get into in a second. Like the other arpeggio, this fingering applies to everything. your pointer finger on this chord, you don't typically practice chords that way either. And this is really only a fingering for the right hand. Going back to C, once you practice it like this, you can take your third finger and easily play this second note here. And it can have this effect. So drop out the three and play it like this. Which brings another advantage I'll get to in a second, but by itself this is what it would sound like. But look closely at this chord, which I'll play up here. This could be regarded as a C2 chord or it could be regarded as a G4 chord, because that would be your G chord, and this would be playing the fourth note. So by practicing this arpeggio, you're practicing for two chords. So for instance, go ahead and zoom back out. If I played this chord over a C, like if I played it like this over a C, it'd sound like a C2. But if I played this over a G, it'd sound like a G4, meaning this sound. It'd have that effect, and here we go. Over G. And that was the regular G arpeggio I played. So those are different functions of practicing like this.